Hey there, my name is Joel and I'm with the Data Hub IQ team. Today, I wanted to show you how you can use Data Hub's metadata feature to cut through the noise and help you navigate the performance data of your network. From a regional dashboard showing the results of all T1 sessions in a region, I noticed that a special behavior is occurring and I'm using metadata to potentially link the root cause of my issue to one of my router. It is a very, very simplified use case, but it shows how metadata can be used to perform this kind of operation. I will also take the time to play with the very cool parallel access graph to show links between the various sources of metadata in my system. Metadata is a way to label monitored objects. In Data Hub IQ, a monitored object is anything that can report a metric, for instance, a router port or a T1 session, such as my example here. I've conceptually represented uh, the metadata as a table, but it is more a key value pair combination. Each of the monitored objects can be, have any number of columns <clears throat> or keys to describe what they are or characteristic about the network on which they operate. I have a simple example here that says that all of my monitored objects have the same source, VCX1. They go to different edge router, so router 1.4, uh, and different core router, uh, router 2 and router 1. Uh, I have vendor information, which region they originate from, and which customer they're serving. There are several ways to load this information into Data Hub. We have a flexible API system in which inventory system can synchronize the data, or we can feed it from CSV data. I will show this as part of a different tutorial. But for now, assume that this data is loaded into Data Hub for the next part of my tutorial. I'm starting with this dashboard, which is meant to be a regional dashboard, where I notice that there is a flurry of um, alarms that happens on my packet loss percent events graph. You can see it right here where I have a mix of major critical and minor events that happen. You can see that this dashboard right now is selected to two uh, fictional region, east and west, and so I call it the regional dashboard. And you can see that I've noticed that there is a spike of delay measurements. You can zoom in on that graph and you can see here that there's many things happening. There's other spikes, but this one spike in here corresponded with a lot of alarms on packet loss. Let me zoom in on that graph and try to find which elements correspond to this. The line graph shown here shows the average value of the delay P95 for all of the elements in my dashboard or my regional um, section. I'm gonna attempt to isolate those elements or those T1 session in this case that contributes to the spike that I'm seeing. To do so, I'm looking at the top end on the right hand side and trying to find which elements, uh, which T1 sessions, seems to contribute uh, to the spike that I'm seeing. So I can use the value, like the high values, but you can see that the elements at the bottom seems to be noisy all the time, whereas the elements at the top uh, seems like they could be contributor to what I'm seeing right now, uh, the average of the LP95. So what I'm going to do next is select each of the elements that I think might be contributing to the spike I'm seeing. And then I'm going to use metadata to try to find what's the commonality between these objects and if they're related in some way. Clicking on the metadata tab on the object comparison section brings you to the parallelized axis view. We use the parallelized axis to find what's the relationship between the various metadata values for the selected elements. You can see on the left hand side are the station that I had selected previously from my line graph. You can also see the list of values that are fully in common at the top, which means all of the metadata values that are the same for all of the objects selected. These won't show into the graph to reduce the noise. Then you can see in the actual picture the various metadata for which there is a difference between the various objects. The lines show you the relationship between the objects. For instance, if I select station one low, uh, I can see that it goes through router one. So it has router one one value, uh, goes on the west region, and then through router one to something else. And you can see that station one low is actually quite different in relationships of the metadata values compared to the rest of my selection. If you remember, when I selected station one low, 
and the line view, we were not too sure if it was contributing to the actual spike I was investigating. I decided to select it anyway. I can see here that this monitored object uh, doesn't seem to have any relationship in terms of metadata with the rest of the data. However, if you look at the rest of the data, you can see that they all share the same edge router, uh, uh, the same region, but different core, and in the end, they go to different customers. But maybe that the spike I'm seeing is actually uh, due to one of the routers, either the edge router or the core router. So this is how I would focus my next step of the investigation. Try to find what's happening with this router, with this section of my network uh, that could explain the spike that I have just saw. So I'm going to go back to the network tab and using the metadata filtered, load every T1 session that goes through that one router and see if I can find some commonalities. And I see four monitored objects. I can open the compare view for these four monitored objects. And here, using the chart view, I can check at any other metrics for all of these objects. And here, I'm going to select the packet lost percent, which triggered the initial investigation. And I'm going to select only Montreal Japan and Station 2 HD. The reason for this is uh, Station 2s are all the same session through the, full, the same path at different resolution. So I'm selecting only one of those, uh, the HD reports every uh, 30 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see here that I have the overlay of uh, the JRP95 and the packet loss. And here's my little bump. As I was seeing, I can change the arrangement to be per object, where each of the line graph now are going to be per objects for both metrics that I've selected. Again, my little bump is here. I can do a PDF export of my view in here for further analysis or sending, send it to one of my colleagues. And add additional metrics. If I had router information, I could also plot this router information in these graphs and find additional uh, data, which may indicate that something around this router or because of this router is triggering a spike of delay, causing uh, the flurry of alarms that I was investigating earlier. Now that I know this, I can go back in the original dashboard and change the metadata assigned to my dashboard to be the one of my router. Notice here, if I enter my router, all of my graphs are going to update in near real time to show only the metrics reported by the sessions that are tagged with router 1.4. And you can see that the delay P95 noise is reduced. All of the rest of the network is excluded from the analysis. I can look at the past seven days uh, to see if similar spike happened, and I can see in this case it looked like it didn't. There were other little triggers on the P2R, but nothing else quite like what I have saw. All of this is information that allows me to uh, better focus my next step of the investigation around router 1.4. I can create each of the cards using metadata to help me narrow down my issue, or as I just done here, apply the metadata to uh, the old dashboard. I can also do the same for SLA reports. Metadata really allows you to segment your data and do reporting in the way you see your network. Thanks for watching. I really do hope that you find our implementation of metadata in Data Hub IQ useful for you. Please don't hesitate to share us your comment and let us know what you think.